causes opposition, right? right. So yeah. the only time that most of the time people are, are, are attracted, even though we're they're opposite, is because it's about sex or about lust or about something else. But it's really never about that true uh, connection. Mm. When you say sex, you're talking about gender? No, like... Oh, actual sex. Yeah, actual okay. sex. Okay. Yeah, I mean, people get down real well, quick. Yeah, we can be okay. totally different. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, I, I, I like you, blah, blah, blah. But nah, man. Nah, nah. We, we opposite enough. Trust me. That's good. That's good, man. I like that. Ladies, so what's going on with this husband material? You know what I mean? What do, what do women look for in a husband? What's a pedigree for a husband? You know what I mean? Do you want to answer that first, Nina? Or should I? As <laughs> soon as you said Nina, everyone start laughing. Who knows me? Um, <laughs> I think for me, two can't walk together unless they are totally in agreement. Okay. Totally okay. in agreement um, spiritually about what it takes to be a family, uh, family views. Uh, sometimes education can get in the way. If one has more than the other. Mm. That can be a problem. Um, I think, like Scott says, the sim- we're already opposite enough, but I think some things we have to agree on. Now, let me ask you this. Is it like, what if there's two people that's married? Now, I've seen this happen a couple of times, and um, they get married young, mm-hmm. but then one of them really starts progressing and outgrows the other one. You know what I mean? What I can answer that real fast. That's good. Think about when you were 16, 18. Mm-hmm. And now you're 30. Do you like the same things? Nope. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why a lot of times it doesn't work when two people marry too young. Now, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. You, you're, you're females. Now, what if your husband or a man makes a significant, like, less amount of money than you make? Does that matter? Doesn't matter. That always happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Praise yeah. the Lord. <laughs> So, so you say. Well, you know, I, at least for a woman like me and Sonia, we have to have a man who who is really a man and who knows that. Right. That's the bottom line. Yeah. If me making more money to him makes him feel like less of a man, he's not for me. Okay. okay now let's, <laughs> well, let me ask her again in another way. Let me ask her again in another way. Uh-huh. Do you want your man to make more money than you? <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's I up. do, I do. See, because he can pay all the bills, and like he tell me, just keep yourself beautiful for me, and that's God's will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. You didn't talk on this. Right? What's what, 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 husband material? <laughs> to me, it's not so much about mon- material things because. Uh-huh. Honestly, I've dated people who've had a lot of money, Mm -hmm. but they were inconsistent in their compassion and and their emotions and their feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's terrible to be in a house with a man who is cold and unloving. Mm. So you may not have the money you want right now, but to me, if you have a passion and a desire and a vision for your life, then to me, my job is to help you fulfill that, to be your helper. Mm. But if a man has no vision... If he has none of those things, then I'm still there to be an encourager. But if you don't appreciate that, then then maybe you're not the man for me. Mm. Maybe that's why I'm still single. Amen. How about that? Uh-oh. I got a revelation on well, that. Me, can, I give y'all some of my can I give y'all some of my experience? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I thank God for my life because, um, you know, I had a lot of money at one point in my life. I had a little bit of money at one point in my life. Mm-hmm. I had hair waves. <laughs> I was thin, you know what I mean, at one point in my life. And, you know, she loved me through all the different chains. <laughs> shout out I'm to Peach. I'm all guy. <laughs> definitely got to shout Peach out. Man. Right, right, right. Shout out. That's tough. Yeah, yeah, man, you know what I mean? So she's seen every side of Rick Jones, man. Every side. And she stayed. That's the and blessing. she stayed, yes. You know why? Because women... We believe in the vision of the man. That you know, that's how God designed us and He made us. That's how you're a help me because we see potential that maybe you don't see. And so we want to help bring that out in you however we can. Even it could be a negative thing. Because you say, Oh man, if he didn't have that woman then she wouldn't be because we it doesn't matter, married or just in a couple, that the women still remain the neck that turns the head. Well if well. the man is connected to her. So how do you want to turn? How do you want to live? How do you want to go? How do you want to grow? Is is all in the determination of the man's vision for himself. Okay, listen to her. 
<laughs> Listen, man. And, and again, I, and that's why I'm saying. <laughs> I just want the listeners to know, man, I'm the head of my home, but she's the neck that turns this head. That's well, right. well. Come on, somebody. But that's a, but that's a beautiful thing, though, you know, because that's the way God designed it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, and if and I always said, if the Bible says that um, a husband, love your wives as, as Jesus Christ loved the church. And so we get into this whole feminism thing. But if men did that, then the natural inclination of the woman is to follow him. Is to love him. Is to do everything that that man wants and desires from that woman because he's loving God. And so, because he's loving God, that love is is like a string that pulls him, and then it pulls her in, and it's and it just makes the love grow stronger. Oh, man. Are we on theater? What's going on here, man? I said the same thing. Her, she's so vivid. She, yeah, yeah. she was like this, and you don't want to be in a home that's mm-hmm. cold. <laughs> Yes. I pictured the temperature in there being freezing. And I was sitting over here like, I see it, the lights are dim, it's cold inside. I know. It's like, had me in, man. Yeah. Right, right, right. Is my house cold? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, Go on, Miss. You already know what it is. We told you, we partying today, man, to close the show out. We got Nina Taylor in the building. We got Sonya with a C in the building. Today, they was obviously experts. Right. Or helping uh, us men. <laughs> um, if you got a question that you would like, you know what I mean, on relationship, call in. Uh, especially because they, they seem, they're saying it's so eloquent. Their answers are so eloquent. Right. We just want <laughs> people to tune in so on, on Saturday right. for the Blazing Hot Praise Top 40 Countdown with she and I. <laughs> 12 before. Come on Shameless now. plug. Nah, Shameless <laughs> plug. <laughs> you got to tune in to that. I'm yeah. telling you, it's 2016, mm-hmm. and uh, we're giving you anything you want. You can get it on Saturdays. You can right. get it Monday through Friday during the week. AM 1580 is giving this city everything it needs. Sunday? Shabbat! There it is. <laughs> yeah, we cater to the locals. We're bringing the national gifts on. It's really, you know, it's everything that you would want in a radio station. That's right. That's what it is. So listen, y'all make sure y'all keep it locked. we got some quartet coming up. Lisa knows together. we're next in line. Y'all ready? Let go! <laughs> that would be a hot talk. Right?